These 10 massive construction projects will completely transform Tanzania's economy by the end of 2024. From Africa's longest electric railway system to the largest passenger ship on the continent, these undertakings will pave the way for Tanzania to become an economic powerhouse in East Africa. Number one is the Tanzania Standard Gauge Railway. This brand new railway system is being built to connect Tanzania with its neighboring countries, Rwanda, Uganda, Burundi, and the Democratic Republic of the Congo. It is part of a larger plan called the East African Railway Master Plan. The new railway line will use the standard gauge, which is wider than the old, inefficient, narrow gauge system currently in place. At over 2,000 kilometers long, it will be the longest electrified standard gauge railway in Africa. The railway is designed to make it much easier to transport goods between the major ports and cities in the region, like the port of Dar es Salaam and the cities of Kigali, Bujumbura, and Kinshasa. Ferries will also carry goods across Lake Victoria between Tanzania and Uganda. The electric trains on this new system will be able to reach speeds of 160 km to HR for passenger trains and 120 km offshore for cargo trains. Different phases of construction are underway, with some sections already completed and others still in progress. The second major project is the Julius Nyerere Hydropower Station, a massive dam and power plant. When finished later this year, it will have an installed capacity of 2,815 megawatts, making it one of the largest hydroelectric plants in Africa. Construction began in 2019, and some phases are already connected to Tanzania's national power grid, helping ease electricity supply issues. However, the full completion is expected by the end of 2024. The hydropower station is located along the Rufiji River in the Morogoro region, harnessing the immense power of one of Tanzania's longest rivers. With nine power-generating units, it will provide a tremendous boost to the nation's electricity production capabilities once fully operational. Third is a huge expansion of roads and highways across Tanzania, including over 500 kilometers of new dual carriageway roads in the southern highlands regions and around Dodoma, the new capital city. These wider, divided highways will vastly improve the transportation of goods between major regions like Mbeya and Songwe, as well as neighboring countries. Segments are being built in phases, like the current 29K Mama dual carriageway under construction between Igawa and Mbeya City. Around Dodoma itself, over 110 KMOI of new outer ring roads are being added. This massive road infrastructure upgrade is crucial for facilitating economic growth and development across Tanzania. The new highways will cut travel time significantly, allowing farmers to get agricultural products to markets faster and factories to receive raw materials and distribute finished goods more efficiently. The fourth project is the construction of what will be the largest passenger ship in Africa, able to carry over 1,200 people along with 400 tons of cargo. This immense vessel, dubbed MV Tutu, is part of an expansion of major ports on Lakes Victoria and Tanganyika to increase their shipping capacity. Number five is the incredible Magunga Bridge, a 3.2 kilometers long crossing over Lake Victoria that will be the longest bridge in East and Central Africa when complete. This vital link will connect the Mwanza region to the neighboring nations of Rwanda, Burundi, and Uganda. The Magunga Bridge is an engineering marvel with its main span stretching an incredible 680 meters across the lake's waters. Construction has involved driving hundreds of massive concrete piles deep into the lake bed to support the bridge deck. Once finished, the four-lane bridge will not only provide a crucial transportation link, but also a stunning architectural landmark visible for miles around. Sixth is the construction of an entirely new government city called Matumba City in Dodoma. In addition to housing government offices and ministries, it will have a ring of highways circling it, 
a new international airport capable of handling 1.5 million passengers per year, and railway connections to the new standard gauge electric rail network. Speaking of airports, the seventh major project is a whole new international airport being built in Dodoma called Misolato International Airport. This is envisioned to complement the existing airport and will be constructed in two phases to serve over 1.5 million annual passengers eventually. The new Misolato International Airport is being constructed on a greenfield site about 12 Kewasalder from the city center of Dodoma. Phase one involves building the main terminal building, runway, air traffic control tower, and other core infrastructure. This initial phase is expected to take around three years to complete. Phase two will then add additional terminals, aprons, and support facilities based on projected passenger demand over the following 20 years. Eighth is the Kuala Coastal Industrial Park, which upon completion will be the largest industrial park in all of Southern Africa. Spanning over 2,000 hectares, it will host more than 200 factories and plants manufacturing everything from pharmaceuticals and vehicles to processed agricultural products. Number nine covers multiple phases of a new bus rapid transit, BRT system, being implemented in Dar es Salaam. Phase two is a 19K Malim segment from Kilwa to Kawawa South with two flyovers. Phase three runs for 20 km from the city center to Embezi. Phase four will connect downtown to the Bucha area. These segregated BRT lanes and terminals will provide crucial public transportation for the growing metro area. Finally, the 10th major project is the East African Crude Oil Pipeline, a massive undertaking to construct an export pipeline running over 1,400 kilometers from the oil fields of western Uganda to the port of Tanga in Tanzania. This will enable Uganda's oil production to reach international markets. So in summary, from new power plants and transportation routes to industrial zones and urban infrastructure, these 10 mega projects represent a historic wave of construction and development that is set to supercharge Tanzania's economy and transform it into a regional economic engine by the end of 2024. It is an incredibly ambitious vision, but one that the nation is working hard to make a reality. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with others. Also, leave a comment down below to let me know what you think or if you have suggestions for future video topics. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more exciting videos. Caro suggested adding any other major infrastructure projects happening in Tanzania that I may have missed. Your feedback helps me improve.